Namaskar and thank you for joining us in this sacred ceremony. At this moment, I'm overwhelmed with emotions, joy, gratitude, and deep devotion as I watch these two pieces of my heart, Anant and Radhika, unite in this eternal bond. In Hindu tradition, marriage is a solemn promise, not just for this lifetime, but for seven lifetimes. Saad Janam Ka Saad. It's a belief that souls destined to find each other do so again and again, their love deepening with each lifetime. As we continue with the Viva Sanskar, the wedding ceremony, we are about to witness the noblest of all acts in Indian culture, the Kanyadan, commonly signifying the giving away of the bride by her parents. But as a daughter myself, as the mother of a daughter, and also a mother-in-law, I know that no parents can ever give away their daughters. Daughters are life's biggest blessings and greatest joys. They are manifestations of Goddess Lakshmi, bringing abundance and auspiciousness to our homes and lives from the time they are born. They are the purest part of our souls, intertwined with our very being. How does one part with a piece of their heart? The affection, joy and memories a daughter or Kanya has shared with her family over the years cannot be handed over. They are theirs forever. A daughter is not a possession to be transferred. She is a blessing to be cherished and treasured. She is a source of happiness, love and light that will now also share with her new family. India's spiritual and cultural traditions hold women in the highest esteem. Our scriptures teach us where there are daughters, there is auspiciousness. Daughters have a higher God-given power. Hamari betiya ghar ko swar bana deti hai. Stri poojaniya hai, wo janani hai, wo annapurna hai. Wo sukh, samriddhi, or aishwarya lati hai. Isliye hum dharti ko maa kehte hai. Nadia ko maa kehte hai. और भारत को भी भारत माँ कहते हैं। स्त्री ज्ञान है, बल है, सुख है, शांति है। इसलिए वो सरस्वती है, शक्ति है, लक्ष्मी है। स्त्री ही अनंत की अनंत चेतना है। Dearest family and friends, as we witness the कन्यादान, I wish to emphasize that Hinduism is Nitya Nutan. It is capable of constant self-renewal and self-reform with time. An Indian wedding rests on the foundation of perfect equality between Var and Kanya, between groom and bride, and also between their two families. Hence, the true cultural significance of Kanyadan is that the bride's parents accept the groom as their son and entrust his family with their precious daughter. My dearest Shaila and Viren, today you are not giving away your daughter to us, rather you are gaining a son and a new family. Our dearest Anand, now belongs as much to you as our dearest Radhika belongs to us. Mukesh and I promise you that Radhika will always be protected as our daughter, cherished as Anand's soulmate, 
loved as Isha, Anand, Shloka and Akash's sister and adored as the most doting Kaki and Mami to Prithvi, Adya, Krishna and Veda. My dearest Radhika, with open hearts and lots of love, we welcome you as the youngest Bahu of our family, as Mrs. Radhika Anand Ambani. <laughs> May our Devis and Devtas shower you and Anand with all the love, laughter and happiness in the world. May your part together be blessed always and forever. With that prayer in our hearts, dear family and friends, we now proceed with the Kanyadan. Thank you.